Greetings and welcome everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew and the Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. And you're just about to join me as I finish up this stupid piece of homework puzzle. Now that they're all sorted, I there can we do go. some reading. Okay, awesome. Uh, read what, Nancy? This? You want to read this for some reason? Oh, Belfrin Star. Uh, February 13th, 1941, War Takes. Um, Michael Mackey Malone died yesterday of liver failure in the Federal Penitentiary at Lens Levensworth, Can Kansas, at age of 52, born in Newark, New Jersey. In uh, 1889, Malone owned and operated Philadelphia Dud and Sud. Shade of laundromats and dry cleaners that allowed him to disguise and dispense the money he made as a racketeer. You heard other gangsters Malone. So I guess this is that he died February 13th. Okay. Oh, that's not back, that's actually down. Thank you for communicating that game. Compared to other gangsters, Malone kept a relatively low profile. His desire for privacy was enforced by four large dogs who never left his side. Although he was rumored to be involved in everything from, run, from rum, rum running to gold heists, he never spent a single night in jail until he was arrested for 1932 for tax evasion, like they always are. Uh, he was convicted the following year and was sentenced to eight years in federal prison. He died just two months before he was scheduled to be released. Okay. Any others here that you're interested in, Anthony? Oh, this one. Uh, Lesingtown Gazette. Is a gangster about to become the Moon Lake's newest resident? Rumors are flying thick and fast that Mickey Malone, the self-proclaimed captain of the industry, is far more... with far more ties than gamblers and smugglers than legitimate businessmen, is building a house on the north shore of Moon Lake. The rumors start started last June when 10 acres... The 10-acre property on which the house is being built was purchased by Philadelphia Dud and Duds and Suds, a company owned by the Malone, and is widely believed to be merely a front for his criminal undertakings. Uh, since... Secrecy has shrouded the project ever since its construction began in October of last year. Four men and the locked gate block... The four men and a locked gate block the driveway leading to the site. Unauthorized persons and vehicles are, sim are similarly turned away. Day and night security guards patrol the heavily wooded lakefront property. Several large trucks strategically parked observe any and all views from the site from the water. Even the workmen have been sworn to, secrecy, sworn to silence. When asked if Mickey Malone was indeed building a home on the Moon Lake, Waldo Mathias, the alleged the agent spearheading the Department of Justice's investigation into Malone's activities, had only this to say. If he is, I suggest he live it up while he can, because the place we're going to be sending him ain't sending him to ain't no beach, and he's going to be there for a real long time. Mr. Malone could not be reached for comment. Okay, so he's clearly had some work done there. Um, possibly that's hinting that there may be a um a secret passageway there available. Okay. One there. Oh wait, one here too. Gangster nabbed at Moon Lake residence. Mickey Malone arrested at his luxurious lake house property. Mickey Malone is a Philadelphia businessman, long considered to be policed by a, as a bootlegger and a racketeer. Finally, felt a sting of the sword of justice. He was arrested in the morning uh, on his house at Moon Lake. I prefer to feel the sting of just. Oh, oh, what's that phrase of the Green Hornet? I feel the weight that, that, that criminals and racketeers within the law may feel its weight by the sting of the Green Hornet. That's a great line. Um, nothing to do with this, though. Is there a Green Hornet adventure game? Because that would be awesome. Not the movie, but the original like, Green Hornet's like, radio show. That'd be awesome. Careful to keep Malone's attack dogs at bay. Agents from the Internal Revenue Service and the Depar... Oh, the Department... Of justice, 
uh, raided the lake ho lakefront home at dawn, catching Malone and his henchmen completely by surprise. Within seconds, Malone was handcuffed, wearing only an overcoat over his pajamas. He was swept out the door and into a waiting car. He was driven directly to Philadelphia, where he was jailed on tax char on charges of tax evasion and conspiracy to violate uh, prohibition laws. The police have been wise to Malone's criminal activities for years, but the Previous, but the three previous attempts to incarcerate him failed miserably when Malone's shadowy associates, through bribes and threats, forced pro prosecution, forced prosecution witnesses to re recant their stories. This time, federal agents intended only to. You know, some people can read ahead and then let their mouths go behind them. I can't do that. I have to read what I see, which is why I always skip up on my lines. This time, federal agents intend on relying, intend to rely, see what I mean? This time, federal agents intend to relay, rely, relay? No, I don't think we're having any Cthulhu in this, thank you. If I can never say this sentence, we can get along. This time, federal agents intend to rely on ledgers and tax, re tax returns to prove their case. Almost got it done. Since 1927, when there was... When it was determined that even income gained through illegal means is taxable. It is? Weird. Authorities have been eager to use this ruling to make thugs like Malone pay up for their crimes. Mickey Malone's been making us look like fools for a long time, declared Bur Bureau of Investigation, Agent Waldo Mathias. But today, the good guys finally got the last laugh. Malone loudly and repeatedly proclaimed that he'd done nothing wrong as he was led to jail. However, his protests of innocence ended abruptly when, apparently not wishing to be photographed in his pajamas, Malone took a swing at the press photographer. He was quickly subdued. Okay, so fun times there. Okay, so there, 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 here? Oh! This is the latest one, I guess. Dragon the Ban. Dragon Ban is a drag. Pennsylvania treasure hunter. There's gold in them there, sandbars. At least that's what the experience of Emily Griffin, owner of the M's Emporium on Moon Lake in central Pennsylvania. The past ten years, she has been dragging a, he a heavy net back and forth along the bottom of the lake and covering and bringing to the surface relics from... 1920s. I've dragged up everything from diamond tiaras to skeleton keys to full bottles of French cognac, says Griffin. It just blows my mind that these people would drop them and then never go back for them. I think she was making quite a bank off of this stuff. She was referring to the wealthy guests of gangster Mickey Malone, who built a home on the lake in 1925 and threw large, raucous parties almost every weekend. Because the guests would travel to and from the house by boat, Personal items were lost overboard with great frequency. Ms. Gr Mrs. Griffin estimates that she has made close to $20,000 selling her findings on the an to antique hunters and tourists. But last week, her windfall came to an end in the country. The county in which Moon Lake is located, passing an ordinance making the recovery of objects from the lake bed illegal. The ban arose from the fact that the bottom of Moon Lake is composed of unusually fine sand. When disturbed, it's disturbed, it clouds the water, sometimes for days, uh, posing a threat to aquatic plants and fish that otherwise thrive there. Park, Acres Jeff, Park Ranger Jeff Akers, who overcome, oversees the park suite, signed the lad, said the ecosystem of the lake is simply too delicate to be ignored, he contends. But Mr. Griffin, Mr. Griffin begs to differ. The whole thing's just a plum ridiculous, she says. You know that what all that stuff down there is doing right now? It's rusting, rotting away, polluting the water. So, dragging the lake bed is illegal, but why not put on a damn snorkel and go down there with a metal detector? That seems like it'd be fine. Especially if the stuff is just sitting on top. Oh. Heck, by getting it out of there, I'm doing the country a favor. Unfortunately, the county doesn't see it that way, as it appears that Miss Griffin will have to abandon what has become a pleasantly profitable hobby. Oh, I don't know, she says. I can still sell stuff that washes up on shore, and that happens, you know, especially after a good storm. So I may be down, but I ain't necessarily out. Money will get flushed down this toilet. Can't watch the Skeptics Road Skeptics Roadshow. 
Monday nights on the plumbing broadcasting service. Epic throat chill. Ew. Oh, man. Okay, so we got some dirt on her. We got some dirt on some other stuff. I think that's everything. We got... We saw that one. We saw three here. None here. None here. And then that there. So I think that's all. Hopefully. Alright. That took for fucking ever and a day. You're back. And with the walkthrough. I finished putting all those envelopes in order. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Drew. And to show my gratitude, I've got something for you. Answers for it, it isn't a paycheck. It doesn't involve Roman numerals. It doesn't involve Roman numerals, does it? No, it's an honorary Junior Park Ranger pin. I keep them on hand so I can give them out to children whom I see demonstrating respect for park rules and regulations. A little bit of positive reinforcement. Yay? Unfortunately, I don't get to give them out that often. Oh, gee, thanks, Ranger Acres. Thanks for all your help. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Okay, so I can only assume that I'm going to be able to use that to, like, pick a lock or something. So I still have that key that I don't know what to do with. Alright. Well, that's him done. So, I guess now... We have a couple of things we can do now over at, over at um, home base. We can hunt for bugs, which we need 12 of, so we can get birds. And we still need to hunt for logs. So... But we need to do that at night. So... I'm kind of finding a bit of an... Uh, there's no, um... Dog attacks. Going on right now. Which is... I, I would feel it would be kind of a, a, a cool thing to have happen. Okay, so we're looking... Oh, wait, 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 wait! Log! I mean, a, a, a plank, but it, it, it's like a log, but better. Yes, awesome, okay. Wait, chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp? There are birds out at night? That's weird. There seems to be no bird there. It keeps making a noise like there is a bird, but there's no bird to be found. Huh. Weird. Okay, um, we're looking for logs. I happen to know there's a log by the stone pillar. There's one. Bugs! Bug. Bug. We got bugs. Okay. Um, if I could leave the screen, please. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute! I'm- oh, wait, that chirp chirp wasn't, um... That wasn't bird! That wasn't bird chirp chirp! I know what that chirp chirp was. I know what that was. I know what that was. That's a shoe. Now what I was after. Wrong direction. Bugs. That chirpy sound means bugs. Awesome. The rock back. Okay, so that's how that's gonna work then. Whenever I hear chirpy noises, that means that there are worms. Um, I guess crickets are just really, like, nar snark narking on these guys. That was it! That was the wood ick! The, the, wood, the, the woodcock! That was it! Did you hear it? I knew it was here. Dog! Doggies. Doggies are out. Okay, does that mean anything? Yeah, those are doggy dogs. Dogs? What is wrong with me today? Okay. There's 
There it is. Crickets. Got two crickets. Wait, 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 wait. Log! Plank, I mean. Awesome! We got three now. We are kicking ass with this. No? Okay. I'm learning my way. I'm learning my way around this. And I'm up on time, but I know we took a long time with that, uh... That one puzzle, so I'm gonna go a little bit longer. That was like ten minutes of me just... Floundering about trying to follow that walkthrough. Okay, and we are out. Awesome. Now I just need to check around my house. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh, okay. That's what they meant by check around. Okay, so it looks like there's just various places I'm just gonna have to keep coming back every so often to hunt for bugs. I can't get them all in one night because why would I? I have exactly five bugs. I need 12 bugs. Okay, but we have enough wood, so maybe we can fix our house. Because that's, you know, part of a detective job. One piece of plank. Two bit of plank. Three bit of plank. They need to be fastened to the floor. Um. Oh, screwdriver. They need to be fastened to the floor. Be my handy pen will help they me. They need to be fastened to the floor. Uh. They need to be fastened it's to the still floor. still not fixed. Ah. Uh! Alright, so clearly I don't have everything I need for that. I guess as we have no other options, we will just go ahead and... I guess reset the to reset the clock? Hopefully waiting 24 hours will mean the bugs have respawned. Alright, so it is a new day, and I had no luck uh, finding any more bugs. So, let's look at our PDA and see what else we can do. Find a hammer and nail to... Find a hammer and nail to try the shed near the house. I did try the shed near the house! Thing to look there. No, not that. I've I've been in here like five times. What? Where was this screen? What? How did I get here? I've been in this shed like half a dozen times. What is this? What am I looking for? What? Uh, what? How am I now suddenly able to explore this place more thoroughly? This is bull- Oh my god... How did I get to there? No, 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 hold up. Oh my god, there's a right and left to this thing? Oh, wait a minute. Let me guess. It's locked. Let me guess. This is what I used that key for. Oh, the key broke off. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, mmm. It's locked. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I need, like, pliers or something? I hate the fact that I suddenly had... It's locked. Oh, God. I hate the fact that I suddenly... I, I found progress, and then no progress. Okay, so I have a locked thing in the shed. I have something over here. There must be something to do with this screen. But there's no interactibibbles. Okay. Okay. Why did I... Hmm. Okay. You know what? You know, fine. I'm gonna go ahead and call for a hint now. Because I've made a lot of progress. <clears throat> but... There's some stuff that I'm missing. So I'm going to go ahead and call Peanut Gallery A. Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. I know that. What's going on? Okay. Get this. It turns out that Jeff this may be what I needed one to do. happy park ranger if Sally sells her Moon Lake property back to the bank, and they wind up selling it to the parks department. You think he might be responsible for all this ghost dog stuff? He has a motive and he has a dog, although it doesn't look at all like the dogs that have been scaring Sally. But it shows he knows something about dogs. Better pull out your suspect list and pencil him in, Nan. I still say you guys should lighten up on him. You two would get a kick out of the woman who owns this little store on Moon Lake. How so? She's a real country gal. We got this deal worked out where if I need something she carries, she'll let me do little chores to pay for it. What kind of little chores? Oh, like collecting bugs and worms so she can sell them to fishermen as bait. Sounds delightful. Um, unfortunately, she may not be as harmless as she seems. She also... Let's go with this one. Unfortunately, she may not be as harmless as she seems. Why do you say that? She also sells antiques from the 1920s that she finds in Moon Lake. Is that bad? So that gave me if one extra line? By dragging the lake in front of Sally's house it is, that's illegal. You know what that means. It means Emily Griffin has made my suspect list. Because if she is breaking the law, she'd want the Malone house to stay empty so she can keep dragging the lake without anybody seeing her. Bye, you guys. Good luck, Nancy. And stay in touch. I didn't even have the option to get a hint? Well, I guess we'll try the Hardy Boys now. Two, eight... Hello? Hey, Frank. It's Nancy. Got a minute? You bet. Hang on. Pick up. It's Nancy. We were going to head to the park and shoot some hoops, but we can't. Want to know why? Why? Because it's raining. And you just washed your car? Ouch. I told you it was going to rain. You always say that. So what have you got? Hint, please. I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? Just because that key disintegrated doesn't mean you can't get to those tools. You'll just have to do a little thinking outside the box, that's all. Lighten up. Free your mind. Loosen the screws. Don't be afraid to become unhinged. You might be surprised at what opens up. That's a nice little hint. Later, guys. You bet. Bye, Nancy. Alrighty. Um, that's kind of a terrible fucking means of going about it, but let's give it a shot. So why did I even have to have the key? Oh my goodness. Oh, gas mask! Whoa, that's a pretty fancy looking gas mask. Oh wait, no, it's not quite as much. Still, awesome. Hammer and nails. That looks almost like some kind of... bear or muskrat trap or something, and that's... could just be like thieves tools or something. As well as a plunger? Oh, that's an oil thing. Hey, and there are the pliers I was looking for. Okay, that... That's really kind of bullshit, though, because that set me on a search for pliers, and the pliers were inside the box and unusable. Like, I applaud that, but I don't appreciate you putting me on a completely incorrect path. Alright, so let's finish this up here. I, 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 
Oh, I hope I have enough boards. I really hope I have enough boards. Okay. Board A. Here. Board B, you go here. And board C goes there. And I have a hammer and exactly two nails and three boards. Which somehow duplicate. Huzzah! I have now completed and repaired the house. This, I am sure, has done something. Uh, maybe I can call Miss uh, Sally and progress the plot with her a little bit. I keep thinking I miss a number there. Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Talk to you later. Stay in touch. This accomplished nothing. It did, however, get me the, um... You get me that, though. And I still have my hammer and nails for some reason. Hmm. Well, uh... I guess that'll do it for now, because I am running a little bit over time. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and you will watch the next one. Um, I'm thinking now... What am I thinking? I'm thinking we need to go hunting for more bugs gonna take a while so you may pick me up uh we may pick up in media res as it were next episode once i've gotten all the bugs um but until next time catch you later everybody <laughs>